What's up, Wasteland Wonders? We're back with part two of Suffer the Night. I hope you guys enjoyed part one. I've absolutely loved playing this demo. It's uh, It's been quite a rush, if we're being honest here. Um, a lot of good artwork and, you know, just the game is really beautifully made, especially for a horror game. I really like that they had like a an 80s uh, horror type genre going on mixed with the first person and the text-based horror you know, it makes it really, really unique. Normally, you find those games, they have, like, one aspect or another. Um, but, yeah. With that being said, let's get right back into it. Here's part two. I don't know. Wait. I'm not sure. You said you would find a way in. You boarded up this. So, no more windows broke. How did you get in? Is he like a spirit that you can teleport through the computer? Hey, hey. Through the floppy disk? I mean, he was glitching out in the bathroom that one time. I don't want to go into my own damn bedroom now. <laughs> Check that closet. What the? I don't know if you're not supposed to look at him, or you're supposed to look at him, and then he walks away. Is it like like downstairs when you were you went up to him at like near the glass, you would like walk away? Yeah. So I don't know. I don't know which you're supposed to do. Let's see, exit the cross face to the marriage here. Uh, yeah, we're gonna go left. Oh, I have to search. Found, really? Huh? No, you gotta use the key, remember? Use I to get down there. I tried that, it's like no object for use for you. Huh? Okay. So I got I mean, the oh, that, I got Yeah, the you had to do that first. Now you can go back and use the key. This first time, when he does the closet, don't look at him. Slosh Just keep switch. Okay, we're gonna go left. Not very circular room. There's a stairway leading up. Yeah, this is the search for a body. Begin to ascend the stairs as you move. Blood begins to lose from the moon that they gave you. Torches light the stairway, but the top is pitch black. The lighter illuminates your surroundings. Yeah, you need to go up to him. That, that's what I thought, but. I, oh, yeah, I, once you once you hit that that stair part where you hear the creak, I think you get up, you put your flash on, and you walk over to him. Unless you have to run out of the room, I don't know. But uh, yeah, try. Well, I mean, I do have a run. So it's very hour. it's very possible that I could be chased here. Maybe we keep the door open then. Yeah, then I'm, gonna be, then I'm gonna be worried it changes up and comes from the other way. Imagine. <laughs> okay, we're back right, to office three. hours. The door's open. <laughs> Make your appointment with my secretary. Okay, we got the rope, so now we go left. Use the item. Do. Just the 
test. Have a nice holiday. Yeah, I don't like how your flashlight was bugging. God. Turn the game up, Steve. Okay. Yeah. Maybe now he's the gone. Maybe he's not there anymore. So, well. But if he I, is. If I fucking walk in his room and get killed. But if he's, he is up there, you go karate kick him in the jaw when you run in. Your son. There. Yeah, he he's is. there. He's there. He's there. Hey, can you take your flashlight out real quick? I, I, th I think I think we have to work, walk towards him, bro. I don't know what else he's gonna do because he's gonna kill us. If he might kill us here too, I don't know. Is he gone? No, he's still there. I think he's gonna get us, bro. <laughs> You go up to it. Just walk Why? Up to it. I don't know, man. These, these games, they always have you walk toward them. Ah! Yeah, see, I was right. Okay, I was right. Okay, okay. okay. We're, good. we're good. We can close the door now. And, and, and I don't know. Open it. See if it. The bastards were straight the wall and dressing what the hell? downstairs. But How did he get in through there? <laughs> Finish the game. He can fly. Right. You're a wizard, right. Harry. Close, close everything, bro. I don't know what this dude's capable of. He might come through the ceiling next. Yeah. I need to board up everything. Jesus Christ. I really fucking put myself inside a bubble for the rest of my life. Uh, you begin to ascend the stairs as you move. Blood begins to ooze from the wound that thing gave you. Torches light the stairway, but the top is pitch black. Well, you know what? We're going to go up anyway because we have our handy dandy. Lighter. Sorry, I was listening to Steve. He was gonna say notebook. The lighter illuminates your surroundings. Startled, you step back as you are confronted by a wall of bones. You seem to be in a catacomb. You can see the trail continues to your left behind some cobwebs. Just check. <laughs> He's got me paranoid now. Around the corner into a vast room, four pillars enclose an enormous well which can be reached by a short flight of stairs. The water in the well has a repulsive odor. The roof has a hole through which moonlight shines. A narrow passage is off to the left. Uh, skulls and bones carefully placed in a macabre pattern litter the small passage. At the very end, the brazier sits, flame lit like a beacon. Bare skeletons clad in black robes are lit by two braziers. From the... what What's is that? that? Oh Jesus fuck! I don't know what to do. Oh god, what the hell? Where'd he go? Did we shut that up. I don't know, he replaced himself with a bear and then disappeared. Oh, the bear's been there, he was sitting in front of it. No, the bear was gone and he was sitting there. <laughs> what the hell? But he put the god, bear. I think yeah. I'm losing my mind. Yeah, I, th uh, I, th yeah. I think I'm losing your mind too. Okay, a bear skeletons clad in black robes, you're led by two braziers. Trying to read if you quit interrupting me, freaking weirdo. From the earth, a golden statue of a hand rises. Its fingers are positioned as if it were holding something. Yet it's the key. 
Use the item. Maybe try to use the item. Yeah, uh, use, maybe. use the item. No. Uh, go back? Maybe? Must have missed something. Search? Okay. Um, Keep going back, I guess? Yeah, we clearly missed something. Just keep searching like every room, I guess. Because I don't... Aha, that's what it was. We missed the well. Yeah. You reach the guardrail as you get closer to the well. You examine the water. You notice a spherical object that is glowing with hues of yellow and red. It nearly seems to be begging you to remove it from the slimy water. You begin to experience an unnatural yearning to grab it. Remember, I have a gun. Uh, <laughs> you reach for the strange orb, just as you do. The rope creature emerges from the depths, its face twisted in a hideous grimace. It begins to raise its arms with the orb in one hand, almost as if it was making an offering fixated on the orb. You are unable to stop yourself from snatching it. The creature slowly sinks back into the abyss. The strange orb was out of your end. Alright, now we can just go back to that, that room and put the orb on there. You can also go left, though. Okay, so the same place. <laughs> same place. Place the strange orb in the golden hand. When you do a sink slightly into the ground, the rumbling begins and intensifies. A large round stone slab to rise for a brief moment. Dust and debris fill the air, making it difficult to see. When it settles, you notice a new passage has been revealed. Nice. I guess we're going forward. Traveling deeper into the catacombs, you approach two pyramid-shaped monuments. Oh God, here we go. Alien architectures. <laughs> All the way up, there are not Ornamented with rows of skulls and bones. A lone statue further back is followed by two more morbid monuments. Oh, fuck me. I don't like this. I don't know how much more of this I can take. Yeah, me either. You don't want to get us <laughs> into this mess. Almost done. Almost done. I think. Well, this is only chapter one. I think. I think I am almost, gonna pick up the full game when it comes out because this is a rush, bro. This is intense. You arrive before a golden statue of a person wearing robes and holding an oval basin. The chamber is lit by a massive chandelier constructed of numerous bones. The path continues right. Okay. The spiral staircase is found when you turn the corner. The steps are lit by light from above. Finally, a staircase that has some light at the top. Right and left, graves have been dug into the walls. Skulls and bones cover the wall behind the stairs. List of commands. We're going up. Climb the stairs and arrive at the top. Searching your surroundings, you see a large passage to your right. To your left, a large candelabra made of bones. A balloony looking down with a golden statue is directly ahead. What is a balloony? What is that? You approach the massage and see that it is blocked by an iron gate. A wooden counterweight lever is mounted on the wall next to the gate. Figured as much. Go back one more time and then search that room as well. It doesn't, yeah. <coughs> yep, that's it. 
you examine the gleaming statue, the basin has writing engraved into it. It reads, Blood is the bond, blade is the key. An offering must be made. So I think we need to go back and find the offering for this. Nothing here. I was trying to, okay. Has. Need to cut your hand with the with the with the bone key, the skull key that you have. Try to use item instead. Nothing useful here. Um, maybe use item here. Oh. Um. Maybe I go right first and then I come back. The spiral staircase is found when you turn the corner. The steps are lit by light from above, right and left. Graves have been going in. Oh, we already got this. Up. Yeah, go on. Climb the stairs and arrive at the top. Searching the surroundings, you see a large passage to your right. To your left, a large candelabra. Did you did you go left before? Or does it go right? It doesn't give me the option to go left. Uh. You approach the passage, you see that it's blocked by an iron gate, a wooden counterweight, and lever. Rotating the counterweight lever, game and surprise you continue until the passage is open. Find a set of double doors. Light shines through the gaps of the doors. You press against them and notice they are unlocked. You push the doors open and find yourself in familiar surroundings. A large fire pit lights the room, and you can see that you are back in the room with the skull chest. However, you are on the opposite side now, inside the iron gate. Inside the skull's mouth, the chest is unlocked and can't be clicked. You discover a blade inside, you can see that it is covered in weird writing and symbols as it shimmers in the light. You feel yourself falling into a trance as you inspect it. It's absolutely beautiful. A strange dagger attitude. That's where we make the offering we make with this. starts to accumulate blood as it does the sound of gears turning here okay that's what I was hearing <laughs> but it's unclear where it's coming from okay just 
checking. I thought it was the game again. You search the area and try to locate the source and sound. You notice an arrow path has appeared. Where a gravestone once stood, you force your way through and notice a staircase in the distance. As you get closer to the steps, you notice they are carved from fine marble. You hear the gears spinning once more, and the gravestone reappears blocking the way back. Climbing the steps, you enter a dark room. Dozens of lit candles are scattered all across the floor. Your late light reflects off marble floors and polished granite pillars. The chill suddenly shoots down your spine as the space is unsettling and quiet. So we decide to go forward. Not me, I'd have been gone. Moving further into the room, you find yourself at the center. You can see a table and some dark shapes in the distance. You try to use the glider you found with the fuel is spent. Your heart begins to race and you begin to experience an increasing sense of dread. Ugh. You walk up to the table, a few candles and a solitary book with will are placed on the top of it. A figure in a black suit and a top hat is sealed and seated behind the table. It's this dude that's been following me. Mm -hmm. His hands appear to be fitted with gloves and have knives attached to each finger. This dude's about to do something, bro. His head is leaning sideways on the table and his face is expressionless. Skeletons dressed in robes and various poses surround the figure. I don't want to search it. Oh, okay. Nothing happened yet. Yeah, you yeah. examine the book. Its cover features an odd symbol and is bound in leather. Stunning teal feather is used to make the quill. It feeds into a nib with a complex engraving. The figure in the chair remains motionless. Uh, that ain't no fucking leather that the book's bound with. That's human skin. That's the fucking Necronomicon. We're about to summon this thing. The leather strap holding the book closed is Is that the game? Yeah. It, it, read the, see it, read it. It says you hear someone. Book flips open and, oh, and you hear the jarring crack of bones as the head of the figure slowly rises. You freeze in horror as its stare comes face to face with yours. It starts to talk in a sinister voice. I don't want to continue. I'm done with this. It continues. You have completed all the trials. The key was taken, the orb given, the blood offered. The game is nearly finished. Oh my god. Oh my god. Figure indicates the book while stating There's only one thing left. When you put your name in the book, the game is over. You only need a quick signature to be set free. Stacy, what the Lid, fuck? Please sign and declare the game over. Examine the contents of the pages. On the left page is a symbol of a crescent moon along with a dagger. Other symbols and text in a language you don't comprehend are also present. There is a lengthy list of names on the right page. Each name is she's, written. She's signing her life away to be a sacrifice. Handwriting. Think she's signed her? Take the quill and write the name Stacy Lidl. Ah! It's gonna show you. It's gonna show you sitting at the computer. No, what the no, hell? No, 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 no. That looks like my house. No, 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 no. Hundred percent. It's it's outside upstairs. Watch. It is gonna show you sitting at the computer, bro. Or it's gonna burn. That sounded like it came from the attic. I think that freaks inside. Oh, 
We just signed our life away to look, look up, look up, look up. At the fucking attic, bro. We just signed our life away. What is that sound? Is that a chainsaw? I don't know what it is. Let me get to the attic. I don't want to go to the attic. I want to. I want to leave. I want to go on a vacation and never come back. Where's the bathroom? It's a stupid keyboard, man. I'm gonna say, why are you walking into a wall? Yeah, it, my it, my keyboard does this, and I don't know why. <laughs> I've never seen this before. Oh, look at the ground now. <laughs> I'm not touching anything. <laughs> what is happening? Look. I'll prove it. Guys, one hand's on the mouse, one hand's right here. I am auto walking. Uh, if anybody watching this has a fix for this, please let me know because it's pissing me off. What was that? Did the mentor just fly by? What the hell? Yeah, you didn't notice that before? No, I noticed that. Why is there static? Oh, it's that outside. I was like, why is there static coming from the moose? So we think this guy is in the I bet you get to the attic from the garage, maybe. Or maybe maybe there's a way to do it outside. <laughs> That'd be weird. Go outside. I can't and get even your attic. I can't even side. do my quest. There we go. Investigate the Investigate attic. Investigate the attic. Alright, turn the flashlight back on. Kind of. <laughs> Fuck you. Stupid ass thing. Where? Oh look, I have an owl. Yeah, he's been there the whole time. Just I watching. don't. I don't know where. Okay, I press W and now I'm walking back. And now I'm not full screen anymore. No. Yeah, there we go. Let me go back in your room. Double check. I mean, assuming you can make it there with your keyboard. Yeah, assuming. We have a GPS for the attic. Yeah. Attic, anyone? Going once, going twice. Where is the attic? Are we in the? Dude, this room looks like an attic. It has to be higher somewhere. And the thing is, I looked this up online, like the keyboard thing. Everybody says, oh. oh well, you gotta clean your keys. Like, my keys aren't dirty. I don't know, that's weird. I, I've only had this keyboard for what, like, four months? Something like that? Like, it, it doesn't need clean. Uh, uh I it found is. it. I cannot walk to it, but I found it. <laughs> is it there? Anybody here? Why? <laughs> this is crazy. Uh, I, I would, I would like to examine my artwork. <laughs> if you could stop walking for a moment. <laughs> God. Is it broken? What? What in the fuck? Is that a painting doing that? Oh God, you're walking right into him. Um. No, 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 no,
Oh, okay. Well, at least... Okay, we beat chapter one. Nice. I told you, she signed her life away to be a uh, sacrifice. I just. So I'm wondering, will chapter two be like a different person or? Could be. Okay, guys. Well, that concludes Chapter 1, which is the end of the demo. Um, I had a lot of fun playing this. There was a lot of jump scares. The sounds that it made in the game while you're on the floppy disk actually sound like they're behind you in the game while you're in the room, which was absolutely crazy. It was unsettling. It threw me off a bit. Um, and other than that, you know, just the way the game is laid out, like, there is so many absolutely beautiful graphics in the game. The illustrations, you find out that she's, you know, a music lover, she's a musician, she's an artist, she loves books, and then you have this creepy guy show up at your house and eventually has you play a game on a floppy disk to end up pretty much signing your life away to be a sacrifice was absolutely crazy. I think it's really unique, and I love the fact that it was a text-based and first-person horror mixed you know they were they were definitely right they said it had like an 80s slasher vibe to it so you got like the freddy krueger gloves that he was wearing and uh there was where he crawled out of the painting you know so it was kind of like the ring and just lots of stuff like that and then there was a bunch of generic vhs's i don't think i went over them in the video um but if you go by the TV downstairs in the living room, there's a bunch of VHSs, and it's like generic horror names for our classic like cult horror movies. So like A Nightmare on Elm Street. Uh, I, I'm pretty sure that was a Friday the 13th down there. And it was called like Hockey Mask Killer or something. So if you guys play, you know, you can check that out. But uh, other than that, I had, I had a lot of fun recording this for you guys, playing the game, and I really, really hope, you know, that we'll see you in the future videos. You guys know what to do. If you like the video, leave a comment, like, subscribe, hit the bell. Uh, it helps out the channel a lot, and we'll see you in the next video. Peace.